All right, today uh, we're going to uh, subculture Cercospora. There's a couple considerations when um, working with Cercospora. You always want to do it aseptically in a hood using really, really good sterile technique. Um, during, uh, during the growth period, about four days of this fungus, um, it uh, doesn't grow out radially, so contamination is a major concern. If there is contamination on a plate, you have to essentially find another plate and start over because that contamination will uh, move on with you throughout subsequent subcultures. Um, let's take a look at the plates very quickly. This is a Cercospora plate that's been grown on V8 media in the dark for four days. You'll notice it's very uniform in color and that color is a light gray. Um, the gray means that it's sporulating and those are the type of tissues we want to uh, continue through the subculturing process. Whereas this plate is about two and a half weeks old, it's, uh, it's gone hyphal, it's turned white, and it doesn't have any more canidia, it just basically has uh, vegetative hyphae. Uh, we do not want to subculture from white Cercospora plates. When uh, subculturing Cercospora, you always want to heat sterilize your tool whenever you touch your media. Uh, we're basically going to be um, excising a small portion of the biomass of uh, this Cercospora culture and um, gently patting it onto our fresh media. When you have a Cercospora plate, make sure your tool's cool and excise a small portion, preferably a square or rectangle, carefully from the media. I like to pick an end up and then pierce the auger. It's important that you don't poke through the auger and touch the biomass of the organism. Then we flip it over upside down and place it on the media, careful not to drag the, um, the auger piece or push through it with the tool. We then very gently pat the auger piece to transfer the canidia to the new media and carefully piercing as we did the first time pick up the auger plug and place it on some new media that's not been subcultured on again pat slowly you can do this up to four or five times per auger chunk like this after four or five times, there's simply not enough canidia to make a good subculture. All right, during this process, I'm very careful not to touch the surface of the new media with my tool or anything else. Also, my fingers are not touching the rim of the petri dish. That will also vector contamination. When I'm done, I pick up the piece like this and discard it on a waste tray. In four days, this culture, when incubated in the dark at room temperature, will look like this. And you, and you continue the subculturing process every four days onto clean, sterile V8 media.